The 2019 edition of the International Easter Youth Camp with Pastor Chris was like none other. It was a historical event that played host to youth delegates from 166 countries and territories of the world, making it the largest Easter camp by country representation in the whole world. The excitement was indeed palpable as the teeming youths converged in South Africa for an experience that would mark a turning point in their lives. Hey, it's our first day of International Easter Youth Gap 2019 with Pastor Chris. We are so excited and we are here at Johannesburg International Airport as we wait as the doors are about to be open and we receive many more youth from all around the world coming to this camp. We are so excited to meet them as several of them are here for their very first time. Hi, my name is Aranza Rios. I'm from Panama. My name is Alexandra and I'm from Russia. And I'm from Abkhazia. And I'm from Greenland. I'm from Moldova. We are from Bolivia. We are from the beautiful islands of Fiji. Woo! Indonesia. And we are from Lebanon. And we are so excited to be attending for the first time the Easter Youth Camp with the man of God, Pastor Chris. We are expecting to receive fully what he has to uh, share with us from teachings and messages. And we have a very big expectation for Easter Youth Camp with Pastor Chris. We want to learn. We want to meet new people from all around the world and we are very happy to be here and thank you Pastor Chris for this opportunity for us. When we arrived at the campsite, like, I thought that I, it was like a paradise because there is so many nature, there is lots of pounds, lots of green nature everywhere, there is sound of birds even now. I thought even that I was in a real Greece because these structures here look like old Greece and it's so interesting. They're, it's really beautiful here, really nice. At the camp we had the uh, opening ceremony which was amazing. I'm like, um, I had to witness with my very own eyes uh, youth from over 160 plus countries. They marched in and then they kept on marching around. I mean, like it was just a, a beautiful display of different colors. Some of them, they had to like wear their national attire, they had to wave their flags. It was just amazing. And they were dancing to the uh, GYLF uh, theme song. And then we had a segment where we had an awards night, oh my goodness, uh, where members of the uh, GYLF, they got awarded, they got recognized for the, um, the hard work they've been doing. I'm like, uh, seeing all those people uh, being awarded just inspires me so much. Hi everyone, we're just at our morning drills right now. We're all having so much fun. We're just doing sports in the morning and it's really been awesome. I really enjoyed all the different exercises we did in the morning drills, like jogging, sprinting, doing the squats, push-ups, and all the different uh, exercises that really warmed us up and got us ready for the day. Right now, we are doing PT with the Man of God. It is truly phenomenal. Seven. Seven. Even the talk of love, it was really the, just the most amazing part of that morning trip. Every morning we have morning devotions and we pray in tongues and that was something which made us ready for the morning sessions to like worship God and yeah. It was wonderful that we had uh, different country presentations at camp from different cultures. I'm <laughs> 
Every day from like Monday we had talk shows which I personally found very inspiring. Hearing about all the different youths and how they're impacting their world. We became to know that we are to illuminate, we are to empower and we are to lead and we are for science and seasons. We are to change the bitter seasons of people to marvelous happy seasons. Hallelujah. So we uh, actually, we engaged in a project in this year where we went to preach young prisoners in the prisons in Sri Lanka. So we didn't stop it. We kept on doing it. We kept on preaching it. I'd like to say to you as my ending statement, whatever the challenges you face, don't stop it. You must preach it. You must keep on preaching it. Hallelujah. 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 We had um, very, uh, several pastors who came to minister to us. That message really actually inspired me. We also went outings to ice skating. Hi, my name is Nelson and we are here for the Easter camp with Pastor Chris. Um, we are all from different countries. We have from Peru, Uruguay, Belize and Ecuador. And today we went out for, to, to the zoo and we are having so much fun here at the zoo. And we, we got to see a lot of animals that we don't have in our countries. Wow, wow, wow. We had an awesome time at the zoo and it was so amazing. International Easter Youth Camp with Pastor Chris 2019. I am Tabisang all the way from Botswana and I'm enjoying every single moment of this camp. And on camp we had the GYLF exhibition and it was really amazing. On Tuesday, Wednesday we exhibited, we, have, uh, we had people that exhibited with paintings, we had people that exhibited with fashion, makeup, we had people that did drawings, different things, even the GYLF TV, praise God. It was really amazing and what really blew my mind was when Pastor came, oh. I was so excited. He actually visited my stand and he, he visited my yes because I exhibited um, with makeup. He asked me for um, what, what inspired me and how I'm using this to influence my world. It was really, really amazing to have Pastor at the exhibition. So, how did you find the exhibition so far? Oh, it was marvelous, really marvelous. Uh, we can see that uh, we are in Christ, we are a new creation and we are creative by the power of the Holy Spirit in us. We can do so many things and nothing can stop us. And it, it just shows how, how incredible the Holy Spirit is in us, how creative we can be with the Spirit and how we can just create new things beyond barriers. On Sunday, we, we had the opportunity to be uh, at the healing school with our man of God, Pastor Chris. We came with the bus and it was so exciting. We had to come out one by one representing our own country and trust me, I was so, I was super, super excited. And we, were, we ran out, I was like, Woo, New Zealand is here! Yeah. When we entered the auditorium, one thing was the atmosphere. Oh my God, I just love it, I love it, I love it. The Praise and worship, it was taking me to another level. It was so making me get ready for what the Lord has for me. As the man of God entered the room, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I just couldn't hold myself. I kept jumping, I kept shouting. And it's the first time, imagine it's the first time for me to see the man of God. After that, Pastor Chris actually welcomed all of us from different countries. When he said, it's the Easter youth camp here, I was like, yes, he's finally talking about us. And we all got up and I quickly tapped this one to give me the flag and I started waving my flag. I've got a lot of young people here who are with me this week for the Easter youth camp. Come on, give them a big hand, everybody. In a camp, we had three days of teaching meetings with Pastor Chris 
and as he were telling so important things, so different things that really touched my heart. He came down to a level where we can ask questions and he can answer it to us. So I really learned a lot. One really thing that really uh, struck my mind and my spirit was that when he was uh, teaching about how we, we need to share the word, even though we are still young, we have the grace and we have the knowledge of the word of God. There were some people who got to sit right next to Pastor Chris, which must have been an amazing thing for them. They were sharing what they were doing in their countries and how uh, youth camp had also impacted them as well. I came here in 2017 and uh, I was impacted and inspired uh, with all things I saw here. And uh, then I realized that one of the reasons I stopped is that I couldn't find people, find people like me in my country, people that want to do what I, what I was doing, and I didn't know how to inspire them to do it. I didn't have the platform to work with, work with them and make them work with me. But I found that here in GLF. Very wise. So from Easter Youth Camp 2017, I started again. Can't you just just praise the Lord for GYLF? What a platform. What a strategy of the Spirit to do amazing things around the world. Hallelujah. And um, it was really inspiring just to see that, you know, no matter the situation that you're going through, the word must be preached to everyone. He sent us as his witnesses. Who is a witness? A witness is a proof producer. bears evidence not just a storyteller he must be able to prove his witness so you're more than a storyteller the Holy Spirit came into your life to make you a proof producer for a living Christ. There's power in your hands. There's power in your hands. And the name of Jesus in your lips is authority. So on the final day, the importation what a thing. I think that was the highlight of my entire like week in this camp. When he announced that all the leaders should come up to the altar, I never took, I had no doubt. I had to walk in front there to receive because that was I came here for and I started to speak in other tongues because I want my spirit to uh, be able to receive and that what was thing that came out from his mouth. Are you ready to receive? And he just prayed for us. We fell under the anointing. Thank you, Father, for your children here. But the grace to do the things that you've called them to do will be given to them now in an increased measure the required gifts of the Spirit, the manifestations of the Holy Ghost, so that they experience tremendous results and more fruits than ever before. In the name of Jesus Christ, take it! You could feel it in the entire room, like the whole room. It felt like the, like the ground itself was shaking 
with power. I just started crying and crying. And I just could see my nation like, I could see myself preaching in big conferences in my nation to the young people. I could see the future of my nation and I was crying and thanking God for such an anointing, for such a grace that the man of God imparted that night. So I was really blessed. I'm so amazed at the experience that I'm experiencing and I have experienced in that impartation. The International Easter Youth Campus Pastor Chris was such an amazing experience and time. We truly have received the Word of God beyond measure and we're so excited to go back to our country and spread the Word of God because now we know who we are in Christ. We know that speaking in tongues is very vital and we know the seven pillars of building our house as a leader and we're so excited to go back because as we go back we know that we're going to impact our nations like never before. We're going to spread the gospel until the ends of the earth and when we come back hey, we will come back with the head of Goliath so we're so excited hallelujah let's give the Lord a shout of praise we love you Pastor Chris amen glory we ready you ready you ready indeed it's a new day for the propagation of the gospel of Christ in all nations of the world as the youths depart with divine ability and renew vigor to take their world. Thank you, dear pastors and partners, for sponsoring the International Easter Youth Camp with Pastor Chris. You have seated the souls of these nations and invested in their future. And for these, we say thank you and God bless you. <laughs>